Hey Joe Berg, how are you guys doing? Just up in my little lab at the moment, mixing up some vape juice. This way it's a whole lot cheaper. Now remember, this is not an endorsement for vaping or smoking or anything like that. Make your own decisions. If you're underage, don't do stupid shit. It's pretty much that simple. This has got me off smoking. I've been smoking for, wow, a long time. Um, 30 odd years. And this took me from a box and a half a day to nothing in the space of seven to eight months. So yeah, I know there's a whole bunch of you that are gonna say, it's so bad for you and blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, it's done good for me. Anyway, that's not why we're here. So today we have the Springboks versus Argentina a little bit later on. This vlog will go out a whole lot later than usual because that's a latest game. I'm still gonna get back, edit, etc., etc. And thank you so much to all our new subscribers. Really appreciate it. Feel free to leave comments down below as well. Um, get hold of us via our social media channels. In the meantime, I'm gonna get this finished and head out into the world. So, a little bit of a special treat this morning. We have snuck down the road for a quick breakfast pizza with the girls. Out on a little Saturday morning date. Uh, don't get to do this very often, but it's nice to kind of just relax a little bit. So I don't know if you've noticed this, but my time management skills are not the best that there are. So once again, uh, studio shoot ran late, and that means I'm now late for the rugby at Monte Cassino. So in my usual panic, flying along at the speed limit, mind you, at the speed limit, but yeah, trying to get off to Monte Cassino as quickly as possible. Rugby starts in about 45 minutes. So I should be fine, but I normally like to get to these kind of things with a, like an hour to spare, not half an hour. But it'll be all good, and we're gonna have a great time, and I'm sure the Springboks are gonna beat Argentina out the way. That's about it, bye. Okay, so I've managed to get to Monte Cassino with about half an hour to spare, which is not too bad. Uh, game kicks off at 5.05. So that should give us time to get some opening pictures done before we have to actually shoot the game. Okay, so here we go. It is almost game time. South Africa versus the Argentinians. We are at Bucktown at Monte Cassino. This is where I'm going to be spending my evening. Okay, so it's half time at the moment. The Springboks are leading Argentina. Just about to get back to game time. Gorgeous sunset behind me. You gotta love this Joburg light. Anyway, I better get back to work uh, to shooting this game. Hopefully, we're gonna try and chat to Springbok captain Warren Whiteley after the game. Let's see how we go. It's a fantastic game there by the Springboks. We've got Warren Whiteley behind the Springbok captain just over there. We're going to be chatting to him in a second to get his thoughts on the game. Warren, so great start for the Springboks. Always good to get off with a start in a competition like that. What are your thoughts on the game? It was a fantastic game. I thought we uh, applied consistent pressure. Um, you know, during the first half, we perhaps didn't get the reward that we wanted, but um, really kept knocking on the door and um, started the second half well again and um, scored some fantastic tries. You know, Courtnell scoring his, his first Springbok try and uh, Raymond as well, so really, really happy for them. And then Sia scoring an amazing try, so there really was some, some phenomenal tries. Um, and I thought the guys performed really well. Our set piece was was solid with Kuni um, and Beast doing phenomenally well with Malcolm. Um, you know, our line-out was solid and 
um, particularly I thought our uh, bench, you know, our replacements uh, brought some great intensity onto the field and um, you know, every single player really contributed to a, to a fantastic performance. Um, Al Alustrio, I thought, did phenomenally well. Yaku worked extremely hard. His work rate was, was really good. Kasim, I mean, for his first test match at number eight, I thought he was phenomenal. Um, you know, working well with Sia, who, again, like in the French series, was just consistent as always. So I thought Alustrio was, was really good. And just all around, you know, 9 and 10, Ross Cronier and Elton controlled the game really well. Um, so all in all, I think a fantastic performance. The guys can be really proud. And, um, next week is, is going to be a nice challenge for us at Salta. I haven't performed particularly well there over the last two years. So a lack of challenge for us. But um, I really believe the guys are ready for that and um, are going to perform well there. If you had to pick a man of the match for you, who would that be? I know it's a hard question. <laughs> the guys is, all played well, but... Yeah, there's so many individuals um, that played well. Look, I, I thought Kuni was, was really good, um, consistent throughout the whole game and um, you know ball carries made many tackles I mean as a prop his work rate is, is incredible but a set piece I mean that's what stood out our scrums were really really solid um, yes all across the board you know I'm, I'm a bit biased but I mean my, my man of the matches is probably Yaku um, Yaku Krill I think he only played 60 minutes or so but I thought he was phenomenal made two or three turnovers made a number of tackles um, so I really thought he had a really good game and then lastly obviously you desperate to get back on the field aren't you <laughs> I am, I am desperate. I operated last week, Friday, so it's uh, been about a week or so and feeling really good and, and positive. So um, it's anywhere between six, six to 12 weeks. So hopefully I can get somewhere in between, maybe perhaps eight weeks or nine weeks, I'd be happy. Um, but just focusing really hard on, you know, with my rehab and, and my physio. And, uh, but, you know, with the guys performing like this, uh, it makes it a lot easier. So really, really proud of them. And, um, I think it's, it's such a great start to the championship for us. Awesome, Warren. Thanks a lot for your time. Pleasure. As you can see, every day brings something a little bit different. When I woke up this morning, I really didn't think I'd be interviewing the Springbok captain this afternoon. I mean, I knew I was going to the rugby to shoot some stuff, but I, that was a really nice surprise to get to interview Warren. And what a great guy. It's always fantastic to watch rugby around Springbok supporters because they are so passionate. Anyway, blasting off now to go and try and get this vlog put together and get it out so that you can watch the whole thing, which by now you probably have because you're at the end of the video. Anyway, whatever, I'm rambling. Please do subscribe. Hit the subscribe buttons left and right here somewhere down underneath there. Share it out with your friends if you're enjoying it. Other than that, I'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers, Joburg.